Hello everyone, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today's video is on the new HHX Anthology Symbols from Sabian. Let's go! I always love it when Sabian comes out with new symbols and they've knocked it out of the park with these new HHX anthology symbols. They really are beautifully constructed, hand hammered and lathed to perfection, very musical and super fun to play, which is the best thing about them. The folks at Sabian worked closely with Jojo Mayer to develop these symbols. Jojo is one of the world's great drummers if you didn't know that already. He's an incredible student of the craft and he's also an amazing educator. When Jojo works closely with a manufacturer to come up with a new piece of gear, you know from the outset it's gonna be good because Jojo knows what he's looking for, what he wants to hear, and that goes a really long way when it comes to something like a symbol. Also, think about what the word anthology means. It's a collection of something, right? Most of the time, it's a collection of songs or poems all put together into one place. In this instance, it's a collection of all the years of symbol making excellence and knowledge from Sabian and all the years of the drumming genius of Jojo Mayer put together to make some fantastic instruments for all of us to share. How cool is that? Now these are not signature pieces. You don't see his name anywhere on these symbols, but what you get is Jojo's expertise in the sound, feel, and vibe of these beautiful instruments. Now the idea here was to create symbols where the player assigns the purpose to that instrument. We of course all know the ride symbol and the crash symbol and the china symbol and so on. But back in the old days, symbols weren't necessarily so specific. You know, your quote ride symbol could do many different things. Same with your crash. And that's the idea here. You, the player, make the symbol your own by how you use it. Now let me quickly take you through the symbols I have set up here. There's two sets of three. I have a high bell 22 inch, a high bell 18 inch, and a set of high bell 14 inch hi-hats. Then I have a low bell 22 inch, a low bell 18 inch, and a set of low bell 14 inch hi-hats. I'll get into more specifics about each of the symbols here in just a minute, but now it's time to play them some more. Hear what these beautiful instruments do. I got all kinds of fun things to hit the symbols with. Blast sticks, wood tip sticks, brushes, uh, mallets, all kinds of stuff because these symbols sound great using all kinds of implements. And make sure you check out the text on the screen so you know what symbol I'm hitting at each time.
Now, do you remember I told you at the beginning there's two sets of three, the low bell and the high bell. What I tried to do in that playing example there is start with each set of three. So I just stayed with the low bells, then I went to the high bells, and then as I got to the end of that playing example, I just bashed all these great cymbals here because, you know, they all work together as well. You get a little bit more softer feel and softer sound with the low bell, a little more crunch, a little bit more attack, a little more bite to the high bells. Let's get into some more details right now. These cymbals sort of have a vintage touch to them, a vintage feel and sound, but those bells are what really make the difference because all the cymbals are the same diameter, 22, 18, or 14. You can really see the difference in the bell size on the 18s. It's more pronounced, and especially on the hi-hats as well. The bell's really more pronounced. And it just gives those cymbals a little more bite to the sound, especially if you're using wood tip sticks with big tips and or nylon tips. You really hear the bell nice and clearly. The low bells are a little bit warmer sounding and a tiny bit softer. You're gonna notice on the 14 inch high bell hats that the inside of the high hats are not lathed. That brings out the volume and a little more of that bite that I was talking about. The 14 inch low bell hats are lathed. Beautiful hand hammering all through the, all of these cymbals. You can really see it pronounced on the 22 inch cymbals. It comes out all the way to the end. There's about, I don't know, maybe a two inch section at the end that's not hammered. It truly is amazing what the artisans at Sabian can do with the hammering. They know exactly where to hit the cymbal and how hard to hit it and how much to hit it to get the exact tone they're looking for. So one hammer mark, two, three, four, and more brings out the beautiful tone. And that's exactly what you get with these cymbals here. I would say after living with these cymbals for a while and playing them for a bit, I think you could use these for any style of music, especially good for old style R&B, soul, funk music for sure. If you got like trip hop or anything that's kind of new from the 90s, that kind of stuff would be great for that. But these things will definitely rock as well. If you hit them and just make them musical, you could use these for anything you want. Let me quickly tell you how I'm recording these cymbals because my aim was to give you a nice clean sound of these cymbals just like I'm hearing them here in the room. I have all Telefunken mics on the drum kit here. For the kick drum, I have an M82 on the inside of the kick drum. The only non-Telefunken mic is the Subfreak sub mic that's also on the kick drum. And over the top, I have three Telefunken TF29 Copperhead mics. These are amazing microphones for overheads and a lot of other things, but they give a nice clear picture of what I'm recording here. Everything's going into my UA Apollo with a Neve mic pre, no EQ, no nothing, just straight in, and that's how you're hearing these cymbals today. All of these cymbals are sold separately. You don't have to buy them in the packs of three with all the high bells or all the low bells. You can mix and match these however you like. Having them all set up here is quite spoiling and just feels really good. And I can tell you they do mix and match rather well. Now I'd like to take a few moments where I play each cymbal individually so you can hear them just on its own. Let's start with the low bell 14 inch hats. They have a nice warm traditional feel to them. You know, when I hit them hard, they have a nice kind of throaty attack, which is really great. And what's really cool too is the chick sound. Check this out. Really precise, nice and tight. Also when you feather the hat, it sounds beautiful as well. And I like when you feather it and then you go to the chick sound directly after that, you really hear it nice and precise and it just stops dead, it's cool. Very cool. Let's get on to the high bell hats now. The high bells are a little bit louder, a little bit bolder sounding. You get the nice pronounced stick attack. I'm using the nylon tip sticks here. You can really hear every stroke of the stick hitting the cymbal. I have the cymbals closed really tightly right now and it's just nice and precise. Then when you open it up, it's loud, it's cutting, it's really nice. and an equally beautiful chick sound. 
Very nice and precise. And again, these are the unlathed cymbals. The high bell are unlathed on the inside. Now to the low bell, 18 inch. Beautiful warm sound and a great bell sound with it as well. Really beautiful musical tone. Now the 18 inch high bell. I can really hear the boldness of the high bell compared to the low bell. It just sticks out that much more. And a beautiful crash and wash to it as well. Okay, now to the high bell 22 inch. Here we go. Beautiful, precise sound with the tip of the stick. The bell really is pronounced and projects. What I dig about this cymbal and the size of it all is when you crash it, you get this big oh, sort of sound that sticks around for the initial attack and then goes away quickly and then you just hear the beautiful sustain of the cymbal after that. Okay, last but not least is the low bell, 22 inch. The low bell is a little bit softer on the attack with the tip of the stick. The bell is warmer sounding and that crash sound is just awesome. The big it's dark is a very descriptive term, by the way. It's one I made up. I don't know if you could spell that, but is really <laughs> a technical term in cymbals. It's beautiful. And there you go, everybody. The HHX Anthology Cymbals from Sabian. Beautiful musical cymbals in sets of three with the high bell or the low bell, or you can mix and match, or you can just buy all of them if you want. They are a great addition to anybody's cymbal collection. If you want any more information about any of these cymbals or any other Sabian product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers. <laughs>